so we continue the lecture one in this video i will introduce the average and instantaneous acceleration so here uh, if you want to calculate the average acceleration you take the change of velocity divide by the time that you need to have uh, that change of velocity in this case uh, take a look on this system coordinate this is the first uh, position this is the second position after uh, a while a while so the initial vo uh, velocity you draw uh, a vector uh, like this the final position so you draw the final uh, vector like this now if you want to calculate the delta the change of velocity i mean the delta v here so you have to get this vector minus to this vector so you have delta v so to do that you have to minus two vectors so when you minus two vectors so you have uh, uh, some rules for that uh, you minus by this way you get the final is this one minus the initial is this one so you have a delta v is the red one here here is the formula so you calculate by that way you have an average velocity uh, now we move to the instantaneous velocity you do the same way but in this case the delta t is a very small to compare with one second so in this case you don't divide delta v to delta t anymore you take the derivative of v with respect to time the situation is similar to the velocity but in in this case the acceleration you have to divide in two cases the first one is the instantaneous acceleration the second one is the uh, normal or acceleration because acceleration is a vector so we need two things to describe it the first one is the one you need to describe the change of magnitude is it is this one and the second one is the one you need to describe the change of the direction so this one is normal acceleration is de describe the change of direction and this one is tangential acceleration it uh, describes the change in uh, 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 velocity that velocity here is the change of this velocity with respect to time so this quantity will be tangential acceleration and this quantity represent for the change in direction so this one is normal acceleration we can present it on the picture like this the tangential acceleration is along the um, instantaneous velocity and the normal vector is point to the ch the center is describe the change of the direction here yeah. the the normal acceleration all the way point to the center of the trajectory point to the center of the the path the path sometimes you can call it a uh, trajectory and the uh the tangential acceleration uh, is always like this so um, here is an example for acceleration i suppose that at the initial moment so we have a velocity is like this after two seconds so the velocity is like this now or if you want to calculate the the average acceleration you get the final velocity minus the initial velocity so you have a delta v uh, and the time you need to have that change of velocity is two seconds so you divide by two seconds you do by this way so you have a um, average acceleration 
so take a look on the average acceleration you see uh, along this one is the acceleration along the o x axis this one is the acceleration along the o y axis here we acceleration along the oz axis you don't see it that means the velocity along the oz axis does it doesn't change so you don't have uh, the acceleration because uh, acceleration uh, describes the change of velocity here if acceleration is zero that means the velocity doesn't change next mm, you see mm, the uh, acceleration here and there are positive that means that the velo velocity increase so that one is uh, evolution of the result now we move to the next example mm, we talk about the instantaneous acceleration i suppose that i have uh, uh, expressions of x and y like this depend on time so uh, i ask you to calculate the instantaneous acceleration at the moment t equal 15 seconds so how do you do it for this example you pass through two steps the first one you have to calculate the velocity after that based on the velocity you can calculate the acceleration so firstly let let calculate the velocity here if you want to calculate the acceleration you have to calculate the velocity first so if you want to calculate the velocity so you have to focus on the uh, expression of x and y here you calculate uh, the velocity based on x and y so when you calculate the velocity the x and the y you sub here and here so to take the derivative so you have uh, acceleration so step by step firstly take the derivative of x with respect to time take the derivative of y with respect to time so you have a vx and vy respectively then you sub the vx to this one and vy you put here so you have a, a, the instantaneous velocity now if you want to calculate the acceleration so you calculate the ax and ay you calculate the ax by take the derivative of vx with respect to time and you calculate the ay by the way you take the derivative of vy with respect to time so you have acceleration so you do by that step by step v and you have a then for y you can play the v and then you have a and here is the the expression of acceleration so now we have a, we take a look on the result and we can evaluate the result we see that uh, acceleration a lot along the ox axis this one is along the ox axis is negative that means the velocity along the ox axis uh, decrease but uh, acceleration along the oy axis is positive that means the velocity along the oy axis increase So uh, as I said before, that in kinematics there are three very important quantities. Uh, they are position vector r, um, velocity v, and acceleration um, a. So here I make a summary uh, for three quantities. From when you have a, a position vector, you can calculate the velocity by this way you take the derivative of, of this uh, position vector with respect to time you have an instantaneous velocity and based on position vector you can calculate the displacement then you use it to calculate the average velocity and based on the path of the object you can calculate the distance distance traveled and you divide by the time as so you have you have a speed the unit of um, distance uh, or is a meter and uh, and the unit of time is second therefore the speed or the velocity has the unit is 
the unit of speed or velocity is meter over second. When you have a velocity, you can calculate the acceleration by this way. You take the derivative of velocity with respect to time, so you have a instantaneous acceleration. But if you calculate the change of um, velocity with respect to time, I mean the interval of time is big enough to compare with one second. So this one is average acceleration. Related to acceleration, so you have uh, uh, two components to describe it. The first one is the uh, tangential acceleration. This component describes the change in the uh, magnitude of velocity with respect to time. And the second one component is the normal acceleration. This one describes the change in direction of uh, the velocity. So you can calculate by this formula. So the next step, we base on R, V, and A to analyze the different times of motion. Thank you for listening. See you next time.